cataractcoach.com extrusion cannula assisted levitation using this instrument to help retrieve a posteriorly dislocated IOL. Patient had cataract surgery done elsewhere and referred in. Look at that. Still has a lot of lens material. Some sutures in the limbus at the incisions. Our surgeon here, Dr. Agarwal, Ashwin's going to do a beautiful job of a pars plana vitrectomy. Also, making some flaps here for glued IOL. So probably no support. There we go. Here's some trochra going in, um, infusion going inside. Here we go, cleaning up, getting the vitrector in there. You got to get that lens material out. This patient probably deserves a full part plane of vitrectomy, especially if that IOL is sitting on the Mac, which you're going to see. You saw the title slide. You know where the IOL is. Iris hooks going in. Good idea. Give yourself some visualization. Look at the extra lens material you didn't notice from before. Going in from the other side, get all that lens material out. Do not leave it in the eye. Nice and quiet. And you can see there's a little bit of capsule, but certainly not enough support for a sulcus lens here. So glued eye was a good idea. Here's the three-port vitrectomy. Get all the vitreous um, out. Get this lens untangled. You can see this lens, the eye well, is entangled in vitreous. And now there it is. Let me tell you about cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. So much great material, including free book, free curriculum series, and, of course, the Cataract Coach podcast, which is everywhere where you find podcast services. You will love it. Now, there you go. Once you get the vitreous out and the lens is no longer entangled with it, you need to get it out of the eyes. So how are you going to do that? So, looks like um, Iris Hook's coming out. All righty. And now, let's see. We're going to go inside here with the cutter again. There's the vitrectomy cutter. making sure there's no more vitreous. Okay. Looks pretty good. And now, here we go. How are we going to get this lens up? And that lens obviously does not belong on the macula. That lens cannot be done with the glued eye well technique. So there's the extrusion cannula. Look at that. Holding on to the lens. Once you bring it up, grab it with some forceps. There it is. Get that lens up in the anterior chamber. And then you can bring it out of the eye. And here, oh, the new lens going in too. Here's the new lens first. There's that handshake technique, getting that haptic out. Very nicely done. So this is um, kind of like a Yamani, but this is a glued eye well technique, which I think is a fantastic one. That's been around for a long time. Here we go. Again, handshake technique. There it is on the other side. Ex externalizing the second haptic. There we go. So the nice part with this technique is you have nice long tunnels. You can see there's that Shariath tunnel being created there with the needle. And the haptics can go inside that tunnel. This gives a very broad and strong fixation, and the lens won't go anywhere. Now, the old lens was cut in half and brought outside. Bring each piece out. There's one piece. And see if you leave it partially attached, you can just bring them both out. They're still coming out together. There is the lens. So don't cut it all the way through. I like that technique. Beautifully done. Now, suture up that incision. And then you just finish gluing up your IOL scleral flaps and you're done. The lens is beautifully centered here. Maybe you need a little pupiloplasty. Hey, maybe time for that. There we go. Fourth throw pupiloplasty. Do a little pupiloplasty here. This patient should have a very nice outcome. And the best part is, hey, no more floaters. By getting rid of all that vitreous, patient's going to be happy. No more Weiss ring, PVD, floaters, none of that. All gone. So here we go. Time that up. That looks like a much nicer pupil. Beautiful technique here. I really enjoyed watching that. Now a little bit of tissue glue here and seal it up. Remember, check out our Cataract Coach podcast, the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. The sole purpose is making you a more successful ophthalmologist.